Windows 11 has been released. The good thing is that the Windows 10 Pro key also worked for the Windows 11 Pro version. So buy a key for $12.50 only at my website and decide for yourself which version you would like to use. And if you like my content, then please consider subscribing since apparently 94% of all the views are from non-subscribers. Welcome to the 10 years of Skyrim Ultimate Graphics Tutorial. My name is Brett Caliber and you are watching the introduction part video of this long tutorial series. So 10 years of Skyrim. Skyrim was originally released at 11-11-2011, so the 11th of November 2011. That means we now have 10 years of Skyrim and of course 10 years of modding. When Skyrim Special Edition was released, it finally provided us with 64-bit stability when it came to modding, which was really, really welcome. And till this very day, I love to mod everything in Skyrim Special Edition because of the great stability. For the ones who are a bit familiar with me, I uh, am mostly known, I think, on YouTube by my Skyrim videos. And I've been creating guides every year almost. And yeah, that's what people have been asking a lot. When can we receive a new tutorial video series and this year is very special for me 2021 10 years of Skyrim modding this guide was originally based on the Delizios guide and I actually did create a different guide somewhat earlier this year but for some reason Delizio did decide to completely pull of his original guide and for that I thought it would be a great timing to completely re-engineer his tutorial and yeah to see what can be improved what can be added all those kind of things you will find during this tutorial series. So that is what I did do the last couple of weeks creating this guide. And finally, I can present to you the 10 years of Skyrim Ultimate Graphics tutorial. So let's jump into this guide and let's see what you can expect from the tutorial, how it has been built up, etc, etc. If you randomly stumbled upon this video on YouTube, check the link in the video description to get here on Nexus Mods and to this mod page. First of all, we start, of course, with the screenshots of the end results, so you have a little bit of an idea what you can expect from uh, once you have installed everything. Um, if you scroll a little bit lower, you can see the end result videos, which sometimes yeah, give a better impression than just some screenshots. And from there, here we will start the tutorial. So what is um, what can you expect of this tutorial? If you followed the Dizio's guides once, uh, a big part of that has been based on that, but I think uh, I improved it a, a big time with a lot of things. Also, I did fix a lot of things. I think I also improved the descriptions a bit and I added a lot of stuff, which I think is really, really needed. And of course, implemented it in Tlesios old guide. As you can see here, the core is still based on Tlesios guide. But uh, let's go do first things first. Um, here you'll find the introduction, as I said, and why is this tutorial special? Because you can just simply follow along with video tutorials. You don't have to research everything yourself. You don't have to read 300 mod descriptions, which a lot of mod guides will want you to do to read everything. I know you guys don't want to do that, and don't you guys? I know you guys don't have time for that. So, hey, I will. I did create the video tutorials for that, so you can simply follow along with that. And also the biggest question, is there no WebJack or auto installer? No, there is not guys. Unfortunately, there is not. And why not? Because it just don't work with what we have to do. It just, WebJack cannot handle all the stuff we need to do because we need to apply some patches. We need to do some drag and dropping in the load order. We need to uh, adjust a couple of things and that cannot be handled by Wabajack and also what is pretty important is that even if we would force it with Wabajack the game is going to be unstable it's going to crash for sure and I th I think the most important thing about a great looking Skyrim is that you can actually play it you know that you don't just uh, go there for screenshots and uh, and it crashes every uh, couple of minutes it is stable so that's why I think it's very important to have a stable Skyrim special edition 
And I can actually prove that because I have 104 parts of Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition fully modded. If you're interested and that uh, all went fine and they were all like, what is it, 30 minutes long. So yes, it works fine and also for longer periods of times without any crashes. So that's a bit unfortunate, but on the other hand, you can be sure, you can be sure the game will run stable. We're going to apply fixes, patches, all the necessary things to make sure this game is stable because that's what modding is usually notorious for um, that the game will crash eventually not with our mod list it's going to work i can almost guarantee you that but of course i can't uh, yeah we're also dependent on other factors so that's the reason why there's no uh, wabajack also here i would like to enlighten if you are new to modding you can simply follow along with the videos one-to-one -one, um, from the video tutorial series at this time that you are watching this guide, you probably all the videos are added here under the sections, so you can just follow those one by one. And um, we're going to use Mod Organizer, which is a fantastic tool, and I think Skyrim and Skyrim Special Edition are the easiest games to mod from all the Bethesda games with Mod Organizer, because it is so easy to troubleshoot things and to add mods. This guide is mostly focused on graphics, texture quality, and here, this is important, it requires a good PC, so don't come with your gaming laptop uh, with, medium, med with mediocre specs, it will not work, get a decent gaming PC, I know it's not really great timing, but here is at least what I recommend, a GTX 1080 Ti, and um, I have to say, I once had a GTX 1080 and a 1080 Ti, and the 1080 Ti, uh, really did provide me with everything on 60 FPS plus on 4040p resolution with all 4K textures we're going to use in this tutorial. And the GTX 1080 did not, it did lack some 10-ish FPS sometimes. So yeah, there's definitely some difference and I think the GTX 1080 Ti is the least, uh, the, GT, the GPU, which is really recommended to have for sure 60 FPS plus an indoor but especially outdoor locations since they are the most um, demanding on for your system so um by the way if you are playing on 4k i would recommend even a rtx 2080 or better but uh, here you can find all that info here we have some info about me the author um but let's uh, continue a little bit um faster because else i will this video will be way too long so here you will probably find this video which you're watching right now the explanation about the tutorial this is what we're going to do this will be the mod order so uh, also here just to point it out one more time it's based on the Thysios 2021 guide as a core but i did improve many 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 things um but there are some things mod in the, in the mod list which i think were just too good not to keep not to, not to keep in so i kept them in so, but this is what we're going to do. We're going to start with the tools, essentials, and the EMB because the EMB is the biggest and the most important mod, and usually also the most uh, the, the mod that gives the most troubles for some reason. So it is a good thing to find it out at the start of the tutorial. And also, I would like to point out directly: if you are using an AMD system and especially an AMD GPU, not necessarily a CPU, but if you're using AMD GPU, the chances are higher EMB is not working or are giving you crashes. So that's something I would like to point out from the start. So it's a good thing to, to uh, test that out first. So tools, essentials, EMBs that include uh, cleaning um, from master files, but I'm going to handle that later. This is also the most boring part, tools, essentials, EMB. Then we have some fixes and stability mods. Um, and from here, everything gets really, really easy. Just adding into mod organizer, doing a couple of things and activate the mod so easy base texture foundation with all the big large texture packs here in this section then the world and environment like water like plants trees grass etc etc and all the other things from villages and cities we do here and then we have um players npc and other overhauls and these are just um like i say here an individual they don't have to do anything with the world and environment these are specific texture light texture overalls like the specific retexture mods and these are really really specific like an example a bucket a loaf of bread uh, potions creatures an example um, all those kind of things are being done here then effects and patches for the last couple of things and then the optional part the game changing add-ons if your system can handle it you can also install these wonderful mods from this section which are absolutely recommended if your pc can handle it 
And I would like to point out where I'm going to use all 4K textures in this tutorial. So if you don't have the system requirements here, and I think I did point it out somewhere, um, stick to 2K texture here, uh, yeah. Then please stick to 2K textures and to see what kind of frame rate you have. But for this entire tutorial, I am going to stick to 4K textures for all the mods. So yeah, to quickly run through everything, um, as I say here, this is the most boring part where we'll start with. So once we completed this, hey, from there, it's going to be pretty easy. And here, as you can see, you have a little bit of an idea how I'm going to explain things. I hope I have done it maybe a little bit better than uh, than Lizio sometimes did. And also I try to create screenshots where necessary. And you can see a little bit of the order I'm using normally from mod setup. Uh, yeah, all this stuff, you we're going to get there eventually. Then the fixes and stability stuff. And here is, I hope, to give a little bit of an impression of every section, what we will get, what kind of uh, things the mod list does include. So yeah, just from here, it's pretty straightforward, adding mods to mod organizer, activating them. Here are the base texture foundation stuff uh, for the basic, yeah, for, like it says here for the foundation textures. And everything from here, uh, from uh, from uh, once you're watching this tutorial list, should have a video underneath here, so you should be fine with that. World and environment, as I said here, all kind of things um, like water, uh, audio overhauls are uh, they they might not seem that important, but an audio overhaul can make such a big, huge difference when it comes to atmosphere. You will find it out. Player NPC and other overhauls here, and um, then specific retexture mods, which are quite a lot. That's why I did apply this brick here in between because else you will have some tunnel vision, you know, so it's a good thing to do that once in a while as a general tip as well. Take your time with this. Don't force it into two hours. Take your time. And um, I think that's a lot more convenient and a lot more relaxing angle. Also, it prevents mistakes, which is important for stability, of course. And then effects and patches, just like it says here. Uh, lighting effects especially, it looks very cool with an EMB. And last but not least, as you can see here, the game changing add-ons, if you PC can handle it, for sure we have some fantastic mods. Um, yeah, so it's, 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 it's quite something to do. We have quite a lot of stuff to do, but again, just follow the video tutorial step by step. I, uh, I tested this the the stability very very well if i may say so myself so hey let's continue with the next part which is going to be tools essentials emb so i will see you guys at that next video where we will really start modding our skyrim special edition